Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we have a very special video for fans of Turkish series, because we are going to dive into the charming world of nine Turkish romantic comedy series in English. If you like stories that combine love, laughter, and that unique touch that only Turkish series can offer, you are definitely in the right place. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the like button if you enjoy the content. Did you know that subscribing and liking is vital for us? This is because the YouTube algorithm uses these actions to determine how relevant and engaging our content is for other viewers like you. By subscribing, you help us grow and continue to bring more of these videos that you love. Also, by liking and subscribing, you ensure that you don't miss any of our future recommendations. And remember, stay until the end of the video because we have saved the best recommendation for last. Trust me, you won't want to miss this last series that will make you fall in love. So, without further ado, let's get started with our fabulous recommendations. Number 9. Conchicha Clary, Blood Flowers. The Turkish series. Blood Flowers is a complex plot that revolves around ancestral hatred and rivalry between two families, echoing Shakespeare's classic drama, Romeo and Juliet. The protagonists, Baran and Dilan, are heirs of opposing clans, immersed in an atmosphere of revenge and animosity from birth. The story unfolds with both families' decision to sign a peace treaty, curiously sealed by Baran and Dilan's arranged marriage. This union, initially seen as a way to appease long-standing hostility, gradually evolves into something unexpected. Despite being raised in an environment of hatred, Baran and Dilan start to develop deep feelings for each other, defying the norms and expectations of their families and society. This development puts them both in a dilemma, balancing family duty with personal feelings. The Siraya skillfully explores the me such as the nature of inherited hatred, the power of love to overcome prejudices, and the conflict between duty and desire. It is a vivid representation of the complexity of human relationships shaped by circumstances and social expectations. My opinion on the series is that it does an exceptional job of portraying the impact of hatred and revenge, not only on the individuals directly involved, but also on future generations. The transformation of the protagonists, from enemies to lovers, is an emotional journey that resonates deeply, highlighting the ability of love to transcend seemingly insurmountable barriers. Blood Flowers is a captivating series that manages to keep the viewer engaged, providing a profound reflection on the power of forgiveness and the importance of mutual understanding. Number 8. Fedekar. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, a Turkish series, tells the touching story of Elif, a young woman forced to take charge of her family after her mother's death. Elif's life is marked by countless challenges, which tragically intensify with the death of her younger sister Nurin in an accident. Her life becomes even more complicated when Safer, her only supportive brother, is falsely accused of a horrendous murder. On the other hand, the plot intertwines with the life of Tarek, the heir of Karaka Holding, whose serene existence is shaken by the murder of his older sister, Yesim. Consumed by the desire for justice, Tarek kidnaps Iluf in his frantic search for Safer, who is missing after being suspected of the murder. At the heart of this story of pain and quest for justice, a romantic relationship between Tarek and Elif emerges, born in extraordinary circumstances and defying all odds. This forbidden love becomes a ray of hope in the midst of chaos, offering a perspective of redemption and mutual understanding. As they progress in their search, they face various obstacles and shocking revelations, making their journey both dangerous and emotionally charged. In my opinion, Sacrifice is an intense and emotional series that highlights the resilience and strength of the human spirit. The series excels in showing how adverse circumstances can lead to deep and meaningful relationships, and how love can arise in the most unexpected places. Furthermore, it addresses themes such as injustice, sacrifice, and the pursuit of truth, making it a captivating series rich in emotional and moral nuances. Number 7. Eseret, Captivity 
Eseret is a Turkish series that immerses viewers in the complex dynamics of a wealthy but loveless family under the cold matriarch Afif. Afif's children, Orhan, Nihan, and Nursha, grow up in an environment where affection is scarce. The plot thickens when Nihan, Orhan's twin sister, disappears after traveling to Eritrea to work as a medical volunteer. Determined to find her, Orhan heads to Eritrea, where he encounters Hira, an unfortunate young woman trapped by traffickers. Orhan's search for Nihan leads him to discover that she was poisoned and murdered by a local gang. In a surprising twist, it is revealed that Hira, manipulated by the gang, was the one who unexpectedly poisoned Nihan. Consumed by the desire for revenge, Orhun takes Hira to his home, but instead of providing her safety, he subjects her to even more terrible situations. Meanwhile, the story becomes even more complicated with Afifi's revelation of having lied about her husband's death for years. In an act of defiance and to provoke the anger of his mother, who despises people of lower social status, Orhun decides to marry Hira. Furthermore, the series takes a moment to shed light on the reality of Eritrea, an African country of stunning natural beauty and rich cultural diversity, but also affected by political and military conflicts. The lack of infrastructure and quality medical resources in Eritrea highlights the importance and challenges faced by foreign medical volunteers. In my opinion, Eseret is an intense dramatic work that addresses themes such as family dysfunction, the consequences of power and wealth, and the contrast between different socioeconomic realities. The series does an excellent job of exploring the depth of the characters and their motivations, while also offering a critical look at broader social issues. The inclusion of the situation in Eritrea adds a realistic and educational dimension, showing how external circumstances can influence and intertwine lives in unexpected ways. Number 6. Lek, Stained Love. Lek, also known as Stained Love, is a fascinating Turkish series that follows the life of Yasemin, a resilient young woman living in Germany. Yasemin faces numerous obstacles, but her unbreakable spirit and determination to improve her life and that of her family are at the heart of the story. Working tirelessly and studying, she strives to obtain custody of her hearing-impaired brother and raises funds for the medical operation of her other brother, Murat, who also faces health challenges. Another central character in Leke is Chem, the eldest son of a wealthy family, marked by a tragedy in his childhood that deeply affects his relationships and causes him insecurity. Despite this, Chem has managed to become a successful entrepreneur. His life takes an unexpected turn when he meets Yasemin at a business event. This encounter triggers a series of events that intertwine their lives, opening the door to new possibilities and hopes. In my opinion, Leke is a series that addresses deep themes such as resilience in the face of adversity, the importance of family, and the search for love and emotional stability. Yasemin, as the main character, is a model of perseverance and dedication, offering inspiration to the audience. On the other hand, Chem's evolution reflects how past experiences can influence our lives, but also how meeting the right person can lead to positive change. Overall, Leke is a touching narrative that combines real-life drama with a message of hope and overcoming. Number 5. Kardes Lerum, My Brothers My Brothers is a touching Turkish series that tells the story of the Aaron family, led by Veli and Hatish, a loving couple and parents of four children, Kadir, Omer, Asye, and Emil. Despite their humble life in a simple neighborhood, the family enjoys a happy and united existence. However, their lives take a tragic turn when Hatice dies in a car accident, being brought home by Akif, a neighbor. The accident is just the beginning of a series of misfortunes, as Veli, while investigating the suspicious circumstances of his wife's death, discovers Akif's guilt. In a confrontation with Akif, Veli falls from a building, losing his life and leaving his children orphaned. Meanwhile, Akif, consumed by fear and guilt, does everything possible to hide his responsibility in the accidents, unaware that he has been recorded at the time of the incident. This video becomes a tool for blackmail against him, threatening to reveal his dark secrets. Akif, 
fearful of the repercussions and that his ex-wife and mother of his children will find out, keeps everything secret. In the midst of this tragedy, Kadir, the eldest son, must take on the responsibility of caring for his younger siblings. The family seeks refuge with their uncle, but they face the harsh reality that he has his own problems, with a large family and limited resources. In an act of desperation, Kadir asks for permission for him and his siblings to stay in the barn. In my opinion, My Brothers is a series that delves into resilience and the struggle for survival in adverse circumstances. Through the eyes of the Aaron siblings, themes such as loss, family responsibility, and the consequences of secrets and lies are explored. The series highlights the strength of the family bond and how, even in the darkest moments, hope and determination can keep a family together. The plot, rich in twists and emotions, keeps viewers on the edge of their seats, making them feel every challenge the characters face. Number four, Eminet, Legacy. The Turkish series, Eminet weaves a story around Yaman Kermazili and Seyar Kerimoglu, two characters connected by destiny through a little boy, Yusuf, who is the nephew of both. Yaman, a rich and powerful man, is hindered by past traumas that prevent him from expressing his feelings, while Seher is a humble young woman with a generous heart, dedicated to caring for her family. The plot begins with a heartbreaking situation. Yusuf's mother and Seher's sister, plunged into deep depression, tries to commit suicide in the Kirmazili mansion after receiving a mysterious phone call. Although Seher and her father have been estranged from her since she joined the influential Kermazili family, Seher rushes to the hospital upon learning of the accident. In her final moments, Seher's sister begs that Yusuf not be raised by the Kermazili family and entrusts his protection to Seher. On the other hand, Yaman, the patriarch of the Kermazili family, handles the situation with apparent calmness. Despite his seriousness and emotional distance, Even with his own siblings, Yaman is convinced that it is his duty to raise Yusuf, his brother's son, to become a strong and resilient man. However, his rigid and strict approach seems to overwhelm Yusuf, a sensitive child who feels burdened by his uncle's harshness. In my opinion, Eminet is a series that delves into the complexity of family relationships and the challenges of parenting under extraordinary circumstances. The series highlights the juxtaposition of two worlds, Yaman's, marked by power and rigidity, and Seher's, full of warmth and compassion. Through its narrative, Eminet explores themes such as the impact of trauma, the importance of empathy and love in raising children, and the conflict between two opposing views of life. The development of the characters and their interactions offers a rich exploration of human psychology and how past experiences influence our decisions and relationships. Number three, Vatanim Sensin, I Will Love You Forever. I Will Love You Forever is a touching TV series premiered on October 27, 2016, delving into the melodrama genre over its 130 episodes. Directed by Yamur Thailand, The series is set in the context of the end of World War I, specifically on the Eastern Front. The story revolves around Chevdet, a colonel in the Ottoman army in Thessaloniki, who initially decides to leave his military career to focus on his family, consisting of his wife Aziz and their children Ali Kamal, Yildiz, and Hilal. However, the plot takes a turn when Tev Fik, an ambitious colonel, persuades Chevdet to rejoin the army and support the Turkish independence cause, led by Mustafa Kemal Pasha. Chevdet agrees, on the condition that he can infiltrate Greek military circles. The conflict for Turkish independence brings about a revolution in the lives of Aziz and her children, with a particular focus on Hilal and Yildiz, who actively engage in the resistance. This situation presents a great dilemma for Chevdet, who, despite tensions and conflicts, carries out his mission shrewdly and strategically. In my view, I Will Love You Forever is a series that masterfully captures the complexities and challenges of a family amidst a tumultuous historical period. The series stands out not only for its intriguing plot and rich narrative, but also for how it illustrates the impact of war on family and personal relationships. The characters are well-developed, and their experiences reflect the struggles and resilient spirit of those times. 
the series offers a unique blend of historical and personal drama, providing a vivid portrait of the era and offering a profound perspective on the events and emotions of its characters. Number 2. Sebdim Seni Dear Kare, I Loved You Once I Loved You Once is a captivating Turkish TV series that spans 154 episodes, weaving together drama, secrets, and love to create a narrative that has captured the attention of global audiences. The series revolves around Aslim, a humble and generous young woman whose dream is to become a lawyer. Her determination leads her to earn a scholarship at a prestigious university in Turkey, a feat that involves moving from Izmir to Ankara and leaving her job as a waitress, a decision her father, Kugis, does not approve of. Kugis, portrayed as a strict and ill-tempered man, does not accept Aslim as his daughter, even though he has been her father since she was born. The complexity of their relationship stems from the family's dark past. Hedaya, Aslim's mother, arrived pregnant seeking help from Kugis, and since then, they have maintained the facade of being Aslim's biological parents. However, Aslim is unaware of the truth that Kugis is not her biological father, a secret that Hedaya has fiercely guarded. The plot thickens when Hedaya, determined to support her daughter's dreams, runs away with Aslim while Kugis is away. Aslim, believing she has her father's support, heeds to the home of Yasar and Nuran, Hedia's brother and sister-in-law. There, she reunites with her cousin Elul, a kind and loving young woman who, despite her desire to study at university, has had to work to help her father after a work accident. In my opinion, I Loved You Once is a series that masterfully explores the complexities of family relationships and the secrets that can define them. The series stands out for its ability to intertwine personal aspirations with family complications, offering a rich and emotional narrative. Aslim, as the protagonist, embodies struggle and determination, while the dynamics between the characters reflect the diversity and challenges of real life. Aslim's story and her journey towards realizing her dreams, amidst family secrets and obstacles, make I Loved You Once a deeply moving and resonant series. Number 1. Bahari Beklerkin, A Light of Hope A Light of Hope is an intense Turkish drama series, directed by Ayhan Özdemir and Koralp Gumish, that delves into the life of Omer, a man trapped in a web of injustices and revenge. The series begins with Omer, married to Epek, being falsely accused of theft and subsequently arrested, triggering a series of tragic events. During his arrest, Epek suffers a premature birth and loses the baby, or at least, that's what they make her believe. In reality, Omer's family who conspired against him deceives Epek into thinking her son has died, when in fact the child has been handed over to Kadir with orders to kill him, something Kadir refuses to do. Eleven years later, the plot resumes with a transformed Omer, who has become one of the most influential figures in his country after serving his sentence and spending time in the United States. With a burning desire for revenge against Epek and her family, Omer returns to Turkey. Meanwhile, Kadir, caught in his own morale dilemma, seeks the help of Neslihan. She, in turn, is foresaid to take in Omer's wife and daughters, Filiz and Bahar, with Bahar being Epek's daughter. In my opinion, A Light of Hope is a series that skillfully captures the complexity of human emotions and the consequences of decisions made under extreme circumstances. The series explores themes such as betrayal, deceit, revenge, and redemption, presenting a rich and immersive narrative. The characters are well-developed, each dealing with their own set of internal and moral conflicts, adding depth to the plot. Omer's journey, from his downfall to his eventual resurgence and quest for justice, is particularly moving and represents the ongoing struggle between the past and the present, and how past decisions can continue to affect lives years later. The series offers a captivating insight into human resilience and the search for truth in a world full of shadows and secrets. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Your support is crucial so we can keep sharing content that you enjoy. Also, we would love to hear your opinion. Which of these series caught your attention the most? 
Is there any other Turkish romantic comedy series you would recommend? Leave your comments below. We love reading them and responding to each one. And now, as promised, the final recommendation and perhaps the most special of all. But before that, we remind you that if you like this video, you might also be interested in the 10 best Turkish series on YouTube. Click on the link that will appear on the screen to enjoy more fascinating content. Thanks for joining us today. Don't miss our latest recommendation. Follow the link and keep enjoying the wonderful world of Turkish series. Until next time.